Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. With the demise of Tyrannus, the Thargoid Titan, the first Thargoid Titan to fall in Elite Dangerous, still burning into our minds and so-called retinas, especially after that explosion, the community is now racing to do damage to the next Titan on their list, Lei Long. But after that demise of Tyrannus, Frontier Developments have come out and, as promised, announced the rewards for taking part in a destruction of the first Titan. Frontier developments allude that in a galaxy-wide show of force, countless commanders joined forces to deliver a critical blow to the Thargoid Titan menace, in this case Tyrannus. After a coordinated and relentless assault, the mighty Tyrannus succumbed to its wounds after commanders increased the amount of heat and then destroyed or severely damaged the heat core that ejected itself out from the bottom of the Titan. Once after that had gone through several processes, the hearts had then dissipated, leaving the Tyrannus to succumb to his wounds, exploding in a magnificent, although deadly, display of caustic fury, with that caustic cloud yet to dissipate. What will we find in there, I wonder? Now, this victory is a testament to the unwavering spirit of humanity in-game from all the commanders, from multiple groups and individuals. And I'm sure it's going to have the Thargoids on the hop. However, the fight is far from over. And while that caustic cloud from Tyrannus' demise lingers, even more Titans still pose a threat, with the remaining seven still knocking about. Now, Lei Long is the next in humanity's sights before a full-fledged attack is possible, and its grip on surrounding systems needs to be loosened first, because that's how we think. Commanders have surmised that the Titans are getting their power, their supplies, their resupplies from the surrounding systems, and probably in particularly those spire sites as well. It's all going to be about the background simulation and reducing Thargoid presence in the surrounding systems. Anyway, all this is this is what needs to happen. Now that the dust has settled, however, and the echoes of the explosions are starting to fade, let's talk about what we're all for. The rewards. What is Frontier Development going to give us, commanders, for taking part in this epic in-game event? Well, the fall of Tyrannus was a monumental achievement, as we all know, and they understand that some commanders did face some technical difficulties that did hamper their ability to fully contribute to the war effort, that post-update 18. Rest assured, however, those non-alien bugs will not dampen the celebration and frontier uh, on it. To acknowledge the unique circumstances of this event, they are handling rewards a little bit differently this time. In recognition of everyone who played a part, anyone who ventured into the Hades sector between Update 18 and Tyrannus's fiery demise will receive a commemorative ship kit and decal. This way, even those who face technical hurdles can share in the spoils and proudly display their participation in this historic victory. Looking forward to claiming these rewards will happen to all commanders on Thursday during the tick. Frontier do state, though, this is a one-off for the rewards, though. In order to receive rewards for future Titan destruction, they state, you will need to have taken part by damaging the heat core. And there's a little asterisk next to that in the notes. And then for every Titan you're involved in defeating, you will receive an incrementally more prestigious ship kit with matching paint job for different ships and will receive an incrementing decal. That will be quite interesting. And I've got the decal on the screen now, which is the one for destroying Tyrannus. And the ship kit you get is going to be a, an Alliance Chieftain Bleached Bone. Hmm. Looks nice. All depends you want bits of Thargoid stuck on your ship, though. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. But hey, it's free. It's free for taking part. So we're not going to moan about it, right? Completely remain upbeat. I get it. It could be bits of Titan you stuck to your ship. I like it. Um, they will be added to your accounts on Thursday, so keep an eye out for news channels for updates. And that'll be obviously be after the Thursday tick. They want to thank everyone again who got involved in showing the angry crustaceans of doom. Not our words, frontiers. Um, that humanity wasn't just going to sit there and let them attack our worlds. We look forward to watching commanders squash the next one, and that one being Lei Long. So 
updated clarification. To be eligible for further rewards on the Titan, you will need to do the following. You will need to have done damage to the heat core of a Titan within one week prior to it going into meltdown. Not just going in there, having a go, then moving on to the next one. Unfortunately, they want you to be an active participant in destroying the Titan. So you have to have damaged that heat core within one week prior to it going into meltdown. They also say that you need to have earned a minimum of 2 million credits from hitting that core. You'll earn less credits from the Titan when they still need weakening and have a high damage resistance. So again, it's all about getting in there, attacking those core systems that are around the Titan, all those systems that are in alert and in invasion state and under Thargoid controlled, taking down and poisoning the Spire sites, rescuing people who are still stored subdermally in the Titan's infrastructure and rescuing them and taking them back to the rescue ships and typically doing AX re base reactivations, all the things we did to weaken Tyrannus. And as they do say as well, that is do not forget, you'll also receive arcs from taking down hearts and gain more if you are a top contributor. And during Tyrannus, I think I've managed to get a good six to 7,000 arcs attributed to my account. So there you go, that's what Frontier have awarded commanders who have taken part in the Titan Tyrannus takedown that happened at the beginning of March. Seven more Titans to go. Will they be more difficult? Will we be trying to wing it? And how long will it take before we get our next Titan Tyranny takedown? Who knows? I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos on this subject as we will follow it in great detail and check out the channel as well for the back catalogue of Elite Dangerous videos. We stream on a Saturday and a Sunday on Twitch and on YouTube. Come along, say hello, take part. We've all got to do our bit against the Thargoids in this war. I'll see you soon.